guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing the super super highly requested video I'm gonna be showing you all my updated everyday makeup routine also a lot of you have been wanting to see a natural makeup routine I think this kind of applies to both because my everyday makeup routine I feel like looks very natural so that is what I'm gonna be showing you all today so if you guys would like to see how to achieve this look make sure you keep on watching subscribe down below if you're new and let's just jump right into the video so the first thing I'm going to start with is primer. The primer that I'll be using today is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. This stuff is amazing. I always mention this in my makeup routines just because it makes your skin feel so smooth and I really feel like it helps your makeup go on so much better. Currently at this exact moment I'm not even using Urban Decay foundation but it works with pretty much any foundation. At least it does for my skin. I know that's not the case for everyone and if I keep looking down I have a mirror right here so that's where I'm looking. And I did not mention this. I feel like everyone pretty much does this before they apply makeup. I did apply a moisturizer before, but I didn't really show that. So for foundation, today I'm going to be using this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Foundation. This stuff is amazing. Usually when I do makeup routines, I always use Urban Decay All Nighter or Urban Decay One and Done just because that is my favorite. But I have fell in love with this foundation. And it's a drugstore foundation, so that's great. It's not really expensive like Urban Decay is. So that's another bonus about this. It is a hydrating tint. It's not really full coverage, but for me, I don't really like super thick makeup. For anyone that's wondering, it's in the shade Nude. To apply my foundation, I just use a beauty sponge and then I go over it with my beauty blender. These two are definitely essential to applying my makeup. And the good thing about this, it doesn't take a ton. I don't feel like I use a lot of it, so that's something I really love also. It really goes a long way, so I really feel like this this bottle will last me a while. Something I will say about this foundation is it does oxidize a little. That's why I went with kind of a lighter shade because I wasn't sure if it was going to oxidize. And if you can tell, it's not like orange by no means, but it does like dry darker, if that makes sense. So if you can tell, it looks like it's really light in the bottle, but it does turn a little darker once you put it on. And once it dries, I feel like it's the perfect shade for me. So now I'm going to take my beauty blender and just make sure I blend everything. So the next thing I'm going to be taking now is this Florence concealer. I don't have any concealer right now so I'm going to borrow my sister's. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my eyelids. powder time. So for powder, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder. This is amazing. This is what the powder looks like. For applying it, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Total Face Brush. For eyebrows, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Brow Pencil. So it has a brush on this end and then the actual pencil on the other. So first thing first, brush out my eyebrows. And now I'm going to take the pencil side and just fill them in.
Next is bronzer and blush and also highlights. I'm actually going to be taking my Kylie blush, bronzer, and highlights, and I'm going to be applying that. So for my bronzer, it's in the shade Almond. I absolutely love the packaging. I think it's so cute. And to apply my bronzer, I'm just going to be taking the Elf bronzing brush. Something really great about the Kylie makeup is it's very pigmented. It does not take a lot. When applying my bronzer, I do the whole three motion. Next is blush. I'm going to be taking the Kylie, and it's in the shade We're Going Shopping. I'm going to be taking the same brush again. I use this brush pretty much for bronzer, blush, and highlight. And now for highlight, which is my favorite part. This highlight is so pretty. It's the Kylie, and it's in the shade Ice Me Out. There is the highlight. Oh my goodness, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the highlight is very noticeable. I absolutely love it. I put it on my cheekbones and then also a little bit above my eyebrows and then my nose and my cupid's bow. Next step is eyeshadows. The palette I'm going to be using today is my Morphe palette. I use this in pretty much every makeup tutorial. I just love it because there's so many colors. Like literally you have so many options you can choose from. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be taking my Morphe eyeshadow brushes. The shade I'm going to be starting with is this light shade right here. I'm basically going to be applying that all over. Next shade I'm going to be using is this shade right here. I'm going to be taking this and applying it to my crease. And for my outer corner, I'm going to be taking a darker shade. This really pretty color right here. It's very pigmented, so I only use like a very little amount. Now I'm going to blend it all out. For my inner lid, I'm going to be using this really pretty shimmery color right here. It is absolutely gorgeous and one of my favorites. So that is all for that palette. Now I'm going to be actually taking a highlight palette to do the highlight for my brow and my inner corners. I'm going to be using the Avengers palette from Ulta. These are probably my favorite highlights ever. I don't watch Avengers, but I bought it anyway just because the colors were so pretty. I'm going to be taking the shade Best Never Reset and that's what I'm going to be using for my eyebrow highlight and my inner corner. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. This stuff is amazing, guys. Like, it's the best working mascara ever. Okay, mascara is complete. And now the last step is my lips. The first thing I'm going to be taking is my Ulta Beauty Shiny Sheer Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Pink. And you might be like, why are you applying this first? That is because I'm going to be taking my NYX Butter Lipstick and apply on top. This is in the shade Pops. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. I moved the camera over to the windowsill so you guys can see the natural look of it. I think it's super simple and easy to achieve. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Also, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know of another makeup look or makeup routine that you guys would like to see. If it's full glam or, I don't know, maybe a lazy day makeup routine. I don't know. Just let me know down below what you guys would like to see next. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.